Hi, in this session, I'm going to give you an introduction for the SAP Report Painter and Report Writer. So SAP Reporting Introduction is a tools, what are the tools available in SAP system and applications in SAP system and these tools can be used for which applications uh, in SAP system and a report painter as a user interface so the rep what are the report writer components what are the reporting tools available in the SAP the first one SAP query and quick cure SAP query and quick cure are menu driven tools that helps a user compile lists SAP query comprises an extensive suite for of functions for defining reports and compiling various types of reports and user can choose the data from a list from any SAP table so you can choose the data while you're writing a query directly from the table the SAP query viewer you can go to SQVI so this is a table for a query viewer and from there here you can create a quick view just uh, let us say Z GL is not available so let me just quickly create here you can see when I go to the SAP quick viewer here you can join a table you can enter a single table here or you can give a table join so once uh, you enter the text and if you go to the next screen it will ask for a multiple tables you can join these tables and also you can get the data from any SAP query info set name and also there is a logical database SAP provided so many logical databases here you can see these are all the logical uh, databases so you can create a report for any of these logical databases for a reporting purpose in your SAP system so now what is a SAP query so SAP query SQ zero one is a SAP query so these are all delivered by the SAP so all these queries is based on the info set queries so you can check what are all the info sets available here so once you change this info set so here you can see all these are the info sets available in the standard SAP so you can see here these are all the SAP standard info sets so you can see here a display the info set for example this is a purchase order history and it will take you to the next screen how these info sets are created so do you want to because it's not allowing uh, to change here just you just need to click a display I'm just showing you here I'm not uh, training you on how to uh, use a SAP info set in this training so here you can see there's a field groups and data fields and also there is logical database which is the IFM so this info set is created using the logical database and it is having a header record and info record and these are all the sub categories here so you can see all these are uh, the field groups how the fields are grouped for using under this info set so you can create a query on this info set so when you using uh, these are all the available uh, fields will be shown so you can select for your reporting uh, when you are creating a query using this info set now the next one the report painter and report writer so i will go through in detail uh, in this training 
So this training is to explain on the SAP report painter and report writer. This is one of the tool uh, which is available for uh, in the SAP for reporting. And the next one is a logistics information systems. So in this reporting tool, you can use both standard and flexible analysis is actually the standard analysis is based on the uh, statistic files or uh, inform inf information structures in the logistic information system to which important key figures are updated directly from the relevant applications. So these are all uh, predefined uh, standard structures. So when you are executing a report, all the key figures will be updated automatically. So I'm going to show you what is a, a standard analysis uh, in the SAP and a flexible analysis also available in the info structures uh, can be used to evaluate SAP data structure and uh, form the basis for ad hoc reports. A standard analysis and a flexible analysis. Here, when you go to the logistics, you have uh, logistics controlling and logistic information systems. You have a standard analysis and also flexible analysis. So here, when you go to the standard analysis, you are having a directly uh, reports. So let us go here and MCBA, which is a plant uh, information. So I just get on plant is 1000 and, uh, and and try to execute. So it, it will show the data based on the predefined uh, here you can see value value field and this is a quantity quantity fields so these are the key figures and this is a, a plant is a characteristic in this in this report so these are all uh, standard so now i go back uh, to see what is a flexible analysis when you see here the flexible analysis which is have so under logistics, logistics controlling logistic information systems, you have a flexible analysis. Let us go here, the evaluation and the evaluation structure. First, you need to create the evaluation structure. So I will, I'm going to display the evalu existing evaluation structures, uh, the standardly created. So here, uh, let's go to the sales and distribution here. So you can see the application and also the customer so you can display here so this is having uh, the characteristics version month date week sold to party and material distribution channel division all these are characteristics and the key figures is what are all uh, available here so you can see the gross orders uh, net orders uh, incoming orders orders cost order items return items the credit memos, all these are actually uh, available uh, for the selection here. So the structure is created with all these characteristics and key figures. So now uh, let us go to a report. So here there's a default uh, sets are available here. So now uh, I'm, I'm going to execute the report. Uh, no data it is showing because there's no data available maybe for the current year or data. So this is how you can execute the flexible analysis reports from the SAP. So this is one of the tool. So we have a query and a report painter and a writer. I will give you a detailed overview. And the drill down reporting. The drill down reporting is when you go to the FBL 3N or FBL 1N or FBL 5N, you can drill down by double clicking on the report till to the document level. So this is a drill down functionality in the reporting. So these are all the tools available in the SAP reporting. Apart from this, you have a form based reporting. So these form based reportings is available for the FI. So the form based reporting is you can create uh, for the FI and also the some reports here uh, is uh, all based on the interactive analysis for the reporting. So all these tools and uh, reporting features we call uh, in the SAP ECC as a business information warehouse. 
So this is like a, a warehouse for, for the uh, reporting tools. So you can use any of the tools for creating a, a reports and also use it for our reporting team and also for a management reporting or, or a financial reporting. You can use these tools. Applications in the SAP system can be used can use a report painter functionality. So this, these are all applications can be used uh, for a report painter and report writer reporting. Under controlling module, you can use uh, for cost center accounting and also cost element accounting and also the internal orders and product costing and uh, lastly the activity based costing so all these applications you can use report painter or report writer functionalities uh, the tool for reporting so in the fi you can use gl transaction figures and a special purpose ledgers you can use for a, this special purpose i just give you a high level idea what is a special purpose ledger this special purpose ledger is used for a special reporting like if you want to have a reporting based on a different tables so you can create a, your custom table and also uh, use it for summarize this data to in the into these tables and use this ledger for your uh, reporting but this special purpose ledger is only used for reporting you cannot post to the special ledger and this will this will not transfer the data from the special purpose ledger to another all, all other applications like a uh, controlling or fi or, or logistics so it won't transfer any data so the special purpose ledger will pull the data from the different applications and you can use this data to populate the in the reports so and and this special purpose ledger will summarize the data based on logic defining uh, when you are creating this special purpose ledger so so this is a how the special purpose ledger works and uh, logistics and, uh, and the under logistics you have logistics information systems and enterprise controlling under enterprise controlling you have profit center accounting so yes you can use a report painter or report writer for profit center accounting also and a management consolidation so you can use it for consolidation and the project systems and also the industry solution which is a is oil also you can use the sap applications so the report painter as a user interface old version of sap so that is uh, prior to the r3 did not include this tool so report painter is not available versions prior to the r3 later the report writer user interface was improved to offer users known as a report painter so it performs a similar functions to your report writer but is much easier to use so the report painter is much easier to use than the report writer so to create reports with the report painter you do not need to be familiar with the set concept of the report writer so it means when you defining the columns or the rows you don't need to be uh, familiar with the sets you should have a basic understanding of sets is enough for a report painter the report painter is based on is what you see is what you get so when you're designing the report how you are designing the rows columns and it's it's like a, what you are designing is what you see is what you are going to get when you are executing the report so the t code fgrp is to access the report painter menu in fact this menu represents a shared functionalities for a report painter and a report writer so this t code you can see both 
uh, report painter as well as the report writer. So here, just uh, give you overview as uh, the report writer is uh, the available as a product when the SAP is launched. But after that, the SAP delivered a graphical interface for a, a report writer plus the graphical interface will give you the report painter so it's a graphical interface from the user and also the system is a report painter thank you